Hello, this is Justin, your Real English Party host and coming to you now as your Real English Party English coach. And this is the first and hopefully of many official Real English Party pro tips. So, the first pro tip I would like to offer, make an honest decision. If you are studying English, make an honest decision. The first thing we often ask students or prospective students is why do you want to study English? Why do you want to study English? It's a simple question and 99% of the time, if it's not to pass some test or something like that, basically it is because I want to talk with foreigners or because I want to travel. Making an honest decision is about being honest about that answer. The most important thing is to gauge, that is to make sure you are measuring one, your expectations, and two, your intentions. So it's not about just what you expect to do, but what do you really intend to do with English? So you say, you want to talk to foreigners. Okay, if so, what's your plan? What foreigners do you intend to talk to? Do you have any in mind? Do you have foreign friends that you would like to speak to? If you really want to talk to foreigners, if you really want to be a part of the English speaking world, you need to figure out which foreigners you will be talking to and finding a way to make it to them so that you actually do. This is not something that you do after you finish studying. This is something that you do while studying. That's if you want to be an English speaker. But do you? Do you honestly, honestly see yourself going into those situations where foreigners would be and being social in those situations. It's okay if you don't think so. This is all about being honest, making an honest decision. Be honest with yourself. Let's say you go into a bar and there are native English speakers there. Do you intend to talk to them or do you intend to avoid that at all costs, even as you are studying English? It's okay if you want to avoid it, but you need to be honest about that in making a plan for your study. What this means is you want to be an English student, not necessarily an English speaker. You don't have to be an English speaker to study English. And studying English is not pointless if you do not intend to actually speak to English speakers. It's okay. There's a plan for you. And most of my pro tips will be gauged toward the people who can honestly say that they want to be English speakers. But if you want to be an English student, there are things that you can do. And it can be fun if you want to be an English student, set realistic goals for yourself. You see, that's why it's so important to make that decision in the beginning. Because you don't waste so much time preparing to do something that you have no intention of doing. Rather, instead, you can prepare to do things that you want to do. So what do you want to do with English? Make a project for yourself. Maybe you just like watching foreign movies. Eh, nothing wrong with that. So make that a goal for yourself. You can print out the screenplay of the movie and read along all the English that you need to meet those reasonable goals that you have made for yourself giving a presentation, reading a book, watching a movie. All of those are reasonable goals and things that you can be helped with. You can be coached to do those things, even if you have no intention 
of being part of the real English party that exists in this world. All of these things can be done in English and can really, really help you to improve your abilities, even if not for the purpose of being an English speaker, just as an English student. Let's think of those activities that could help you to enjoy that, because there's nothing wrong with it. I have right here a dusty guitar. Dusty because I haven't played it in over a year. I don't know when I'll play it again. But when I do, I'll play it for fun. Not so that I can be a rock star. And the same could be for you. You don't have to be an English speaker to enjoy studying English. You can be an English student. But now, if you have made the choice that you want to be an English speaker, then there'll be some more pro tips that are especially for you and they're designed to get you into the real English party that exists in this world and out of the shell that you might presently be in. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. That's the first pro tip. Make the decision. Once you make that decision, make a strategy based on that honest decision. See you for the next pro tip. Bye for now.